What's up everybody? Today we're talking about the Greenworks Pro 80 volt blower. 80 volts you may say, wow. Yeah, the industry is really coming to grips with cordless technology. It's here, it's here to stay. I think 2015 is gonna be the year. You're seeing the 40 volts, are you listening? Yeah, to, well, you're just like looking year. at the thing. I can, yeah. Uh, you know, Dude, nobody's listening, so don't even worry about it. They're all coming out with their uh, 40 volt power lineup Pro Tool. So, oh, that's right, I forgot. Yeah, about that. Greenworks has a new Pro line, which is 80 volt max. What kind of runtime do we get off this battery pack, Eric? 70 minutes, two amp hour. 70, and that kind of amazes me. Like a two amp hour, you think wouldn't give 70 minutes of runtime? Yeah, no, but I mean, it's a big battery. Um, 80 volts, man, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's powerful, you guys. And look, see the two? I mean, I've been using the snot out of this thing, and it's still only on two things. And I've been using it on full. Um, so. Three speed, what, 125 miles per hour? Is that 500 what CFM? Hey, man, if that's what you're well, saying. I don't know. 500 I just CFM. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's pretty good. As you can see, you guys, right on the back here is your air intake. It's not on the side. I like that. It's not it's, on the side so it doesn't suck you. It'll stick to your leg or something right, like that. Right. It's not going to suck in on you. I like um, the nozzle, too, how that goes down. So you yeah, can it's tapered. Tapered taper. nozzle. Thank you. Um, it's a pretty cool lightweight blower, you guys. I mean, it's really good. I'm going to show you guys a little bit outside, obviously. It's the middle of winter. There's no leaves or anything like that, but I have blown snow with it. Um, what kind of charge time, Eric? I don't know. Well, we don't know the charge time, but we're going to go ahead and say an hour. Eric's going to look it up. Oh, an hour? Yeah, that might be right. I don't know. These bigger God, batteries. These phones, dude. I'm so tired of it. The... I know. These batteries take a while to charge. We also have, uh, Greenworks has a snowblower too, you guys, and also have a chainsaw that we're going to review here pretty quick. Um, and then in the summer, we'll put them together head-to-head uh, -head with the Ego, maybe? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Ego's a 56 volt, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I use the I use the ego and I gotta say I like it, you know. Um I don't know about compared to the two blowers though. Yeah, we you know we haven't had much time with this, but I wanted to get it out to you guys, show it to you. Um, you know, nice ergonomic grip handle here. I like it, it's pretty cool. Why would you use a blower like this if you're in residential areas that have noise abatement? Um I, I gotta say I was never big on battery power uh, lawn and garden stuff, but ever since the ego I'm sold on it, and then we got the snow joe. I got to say, battery power is, and I live, it's not that I have a huge house or huge area that I have to do, so for someone like me, it's perfect. The only downside I would say to battery power, power is longevity. I mean, how long are these packs going to last? You know, you might not use this unit all year, and I'm not saying Greenworks, I'm not singling them yeah, out. Yeah, but any of them, because yeah, they don't, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like all your ego stuff, okay, let's say you have four ego things, you have four batteries. So you're not going to use those in the winter. So they're going to be, you know, are they in a storage state? When you go to use them next year, are they still going to be good? So let's say you get three years out of those batteries. How much do those batteries cost to replace? Yeah. You know, that's the problem. That's, yeah. You know, there's... That's a good point. Yeah, it's not... you don't know who makes the cells in those things or who actually puts the, Yeah, you know. it's not like you're putting fuel in them, you know, every year and it's running. So, I mean, gas has its downsides. So does electric, you yeah. know. No, uh, this is a standard run on it. So I'm sure they have a better battery that's a high capacity. Probably like a three amp hour or four amp oh, hour. Oh, maybe, yeah. Uh, it doesn't say anything about charge time. I don't see anything about charge time. Okay. If we know what the charge time is, we'll put it at the bottom. Let us know what you guys think. If you guys have any of the Greenworks Pro stuff or if you like it, uh, you know, let us know. Me, personally, I'm not big on electric blowers. I use the Husqvarna 580 BTS and nothing comes close. But that's a big, powerful backpack blower. Sometimes I do need a little less power, a little more quiet, and that's what I'm going for this. This is the one I've been, I've been using. I mean, if you guys can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it's covered in like drywall dust and stuff right now. I've been blowing out like my garage and everything with it. Well, I think something like, if you're gonna actually clean up the yard for the year or something like that, I'd definitely rather have a backpack blower on, but something like quick where you're just blowing off the sidewalk. So right. I try to get that backpack blower on, get that thing started, it's nice to just grab this, take it, Boom, yeah, done. multiple uses, quick use around yeah. the house. And you guys, you don't even know what you're missing if you don't have an electric blower around the house. Yeah. I mean, seriously. I, I never knew. In all honesty, I didn't. I was like, I don't want to do that. I junk. used to do it with my backpack blower, and it would get all fumey in there. I'd almost die. Now well, it's in just your like, house? In my Where garage. Oh. Now I just have this thing on standby. Just don't geez. you have the doors open when you use it? Well, yeah, but still, man, when you're full throttle in there, oh, it's, I see you mean, know, yeah. you're you're breathing it in. Um, so pretty cool stuff you guys, tools in action, click like because you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, a lot of good stuff coming soon, uh, I know we're on the light schedule right now, we're going to mm. get back to the dailies, but it's going to be a few months, uh, just until we get some, wow that was crazy, there's no battery, it's just using the juice that was left in it. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and you know what, I like Greenworks, I think Greenworks is a pretty good brand. Their chainsaw, is that, 
the one that we saw, where was it, GIE or something like that? Yeah, that, that was like a that? 40 volt, and you know, that it was thing impressive. Was nice. Now we yeah. got an 80 volt, you guys. Yeah. So, and you know, electric chainsaws are hit or miss, you know? I mean, a lot of people are like, why would I get an electric chainsaw? But, you know, if you have the power, 80 volts is a lot of power. I mean, mm -hmm. this is probably the same as a what? 30cc engine, 40cc engine. Wow, I think it's 30cc engine. Really? Very good. What do you mean? How do you know? That's good, because I swear that I was reading it on here somewhere. Oh, really? I just made that wow. up. Wow. That was my guesstimation, but I'm pretty smart. All right, you guys. 30cc gas equivalent to a 30cc gas engine. Right. Wow. But you don't have to worry about the uh, gas going bad. It's true, or spark plugs are making You just got to worry about the batteries going bad in three That's years. That's true. For how long? Tools and action, you guys, check it out. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.